Hi, my name is Ed and I want to share a deployment nightmare with you all. Um, deployments always fill me with dread and anxiety every time you have to do one. Um, you can have like the best processes, testing strategy in the world, but there's always something that can go wrong. Um, when I first started my career, I worked at a design agency and we specialised in um, print work. So in a way, nothing's more stressful than sending your work to the printers. Um, as you know, if there are mistakes there, um, they can't be rectified. Um, so in the digital world, when you've got problems that can be fixed, it's just a matter of time. Um, yeah, so the deploy horror story I'd like to share takes me back to when I first started as a front-end designer um, and developer at LimeShop. I had to perform a Magento upgrade for one of our clients. This is when it was on Magento 1. Um, this was something that I'd never done before. Um, the Magento expert that was working with us at the time had just left the business, so it was down to me to perform the upgrade. Um, keeping in mind I'd only been working with the platform for about six months. Um, I felt like it was a tough, tough task for anyone when I was a junior. Um, I, ha I had already performed the upgrade um, locally and on staging, um, and it had all gone pretty smoothly. Um, yeah, don't judge, but at this point we didn't actually have any version control systems in place uh, on the code base, so we were just dragging and dropping files and folders over um, via FTP. Um, so yeah, now it's time to form the upgrade on the live environment. Um, the software version was pretty old um, and it was quite a big jump up, so um, I'd read on the forums that it was best to upgrade version by version um, and ensure all the database scripts had, had run properly on each version. Um, I'd taken a backup of the database just in case, but all of the upgrade code was deployed. Um, I went step by step upgrading the version, but I kept on hitting this um, SQL error every time I was upgrading. Um, and like the live site was in maintenance mode for over six hours. I just kept on trying to re-import the database and database and it was, yeah, it was pure hell. Um, so eventually I gave up. Uh, imported the already upgraded staging database that was missing um, several months of order and customer data um, but fortunately the client was really understanding um, and they remained a client for several years after that horror story and uh, next time the upgrade came around I was far better prepared um, and pretty soon after that nightmare we introduced version control and proper deployment systems um, but yeah I never did resolve that database error and it kind of still keeps me up at night